name's Stephen Neal, and I'm an entertainer. I go on stage with my guitar and a few other instruments, and I do just that. I entertain. I draw from my vast repertoire of rock, pop, country, R&B, novelty, and always lots of comedy. I stay on stage for four hours straight. I hold people. More importantly, people come back to see me. I have one goal when I finish the show. I want everybody leaving talking about what a great time they had, and they're going to come back. Well, here's a little samples of some of the many things that I do on stage. We're gonna, gonna start off with an old Billy Joel classic. Sing us a song, you the piano man. I'll sing us a song tonight. We're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us fitting all right. With their hearts and bound in you, my brown eyed girl. Brown eyed girl, do you remember when hey, we used to sing? Sha la 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 Dad left home when I was three, didn't leave much for mom and me, except an old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Don't blame him that he run and hid, but the meanest thing that he ever did before he left, he went and named me Sue. Oh Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. I can't wait to look in the mirror, cause I get better looking each day. To know me is to love me. Well, I must be one hell of a man. Oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble, but I'm doing the best that I can. Uh, let me do a couple of my old favorite R&B songs from back when. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, yeah, I've got the month of May. Well, I guess you say, what can make me feel this way, my girl? When the sun beats down, burn the tar up on the roof. And your shoes get so hot, you wish your tired feet were fireproof. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah. But on a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Here's a little sample of why my show is called The Outrageous Music and Comedy of Stephen Neal. Well, I was having a few drinks down at Rick's last night. I decided it'd probably be better if I took a cab home rather than take my personal car. So I was coming home, I came over the bridge, and there was a drunk driving checkpoint, but I was in a cab, so they just waved me through. I got home, got a good night's sleep, woke up, looked outside, and said, Wow, I've never driven a cab home before. <laughs> There's these two old guys jogging in the park. They get done, they sit down at the bench. The 87 year old's not even breathing hard. The 80 year old's dying. He goes, What's your secret? He says, Rye bread. He says, Rye bread? Yeah, you eat rye bread. You won't believe what it'll do to your stamina. You ought to try it. I oh, will. So he goes down and says, You guys got any rye bread? He says, yeah, we got racks of it there. He says, Great, I'll take five loaves. So the cook says, Five loaves. Before you finish three, it'll get hard. Before I finish three, it'll get hard. Everybody knows about this rye bread stuff but me. <laughs> well, so this couple has their one child, and he's a boy, and they ask him if you stay a virgin until you get married, so he does. And he finally meets a girl of his dreams, and he asks her to marry him, and she says, I'll marry you, but I have a confession to make. I'm actually flat as a board. These are just padded bras. And he says, well, we're in love, so it doesn't matter. It's about I have a confession to make. Down below, I'm built like a baby. So come their way tonight, she takes off all his clothes. She looks at him, she says, I told you, I'm flat as a board, this was all padding. 
He talks of his clothes. She looks at his crotch and passes out cold. He wakes her up. She looks at her and says, I thought you sat down below. You are built like a baby. He said, I am built like a baby. Seven pounds, ten ounces. <laughs> Here's a joke for my senior citizen friends. This woman, 80 years old, she goes to her friend and says, I have Alzheimer's, dementia, high blood pressure, arthritis. I'd just be better off dead. How should I do it? Her friend says, the best way to do it, shoot yourself in the heart. You won't feel a thing. She says, well, exactly where is my heart? She says, right below your left breast. So that night she got admitted to a hospital for a gunshot wound eight inches above her left knee. <laughs> Wasted away again in Margaritaville I'm Searching for my long shaker of salt Some people claim that there's a woman to blame But I know it's nobody's fault Well, we're going to do an old country classic first. This one's by my man, Johnny Cash. I hear that train coming. It's coming around the bend. Yeah, and I see the sunshine. Just I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. Yeah, but that train. All right, let's do a little new country. A little bit of chicken fries, cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans that fit just right, and a radio love to see the sunrise, see the love of my woman's eyes, feel the touch of a precious child, no mother's love. Let's do uh, one for my Spanish friends. And now we're going to do one for my Irish friends. I've been a wild rover for many a year And I spent all my money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning in Golden Great Star And I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no, day, never No, never, no more Will I play the wild rover No, never Here's an old Frankie Valley classic from the 70s. I love you, baby. If it's quite all right, I love you, baby. Till on a lonely night, I love you, baby. Trust in me when I see. I'm pretty, baby. Don't bring me down, I pray. Oh, pretty, baby. That I Okay, I'm done with this little presentation video. If you want to hear more of my comedy, just go to uh, Stephen Neal's comedy page on Facebook. I put tons of it on there. Now I'm done, so I think I'm going to go have a couple of drinks. But being half Jewish and half Irish, I really don't want to pay for them. Hopefully I see you down the road, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.